Damon Runyon in, in scientific circles is a name that's uh, circulated uh, and said with a lot of respect. And I think that's because uh, they have always uh, funded people and projects, uh, ideas, with a large capability to, um, to both directly impact people and to also drive research forward in new and innovative ways. Uh, I'm Melanie Samuel, I'm 30. We study aging and how the natural process of aging and what are the molecular components um, that cause aging to occur. And why that's important um, is because in addition to affecting general things in all people like memory and mobility, um, it's also a very uh, large risk factor for cancer and other diseases. I guess you could say that uh, aging and cancer appear to share some common pathways. And um, we hope that by using aging uh, as a way to uh, understand these pathways and how they occur, that it may sh uh, shed some light on the pathways that also lead to cancer development. Well, I think in science, uh, uh, historically, a lot of work has been done in a sort of tub on its own bottom fashion, where each discipline has been plugged into a specific area. And groups of scientists weren't necessarily always communicating very effectively with other groups of scientists. And I think now what's happening, um, especially with younger scientists, is that they're trying to take more of a systems approach. So analyzing whether than just being a cancer biologist or just being an immunologist, there's a lot to be learned from those two groups talking to each other and really taking an integrative approach to solving these complicated questions. So what led me to science in the first place is I was probably 18 and I was in high school and I was in biology course and I rem remembered um, learning about DNA for the very first time and how it was the genetic code uh, for every cell in the body. And we were able to actually um, take a DNA sample and put it onto a gel and run it out and take a picture of the DNA. And for me that was such a, a breathtaking realization to um, be able to understand where, where life comes from and how all of us are so much the same but yet we're so individual. So that was the first um, thing that really sparked my interest in science. I come from a family of farmers and my grandparents homesteaded in Wyoming and so they definitely um, don't have a direct link to scientific research but it's always uh, a wonderful experience for me to go back home at Christmas for example and talk to my grandmother and my uh, mother and my father about what I do and um, both try to uh, relate it to them and also um, to see how much they're counting on all of us to really be able to make progress that's going to impact their, their lives and so um, it's a great uh, reminder about how important uh, science is for society.